Hi everybody and welcome to Dynamic Damsel Duo. I'm Cami, and today we will be talking about our favorite Edgar Allan Poe story or poem. And now our Poe boy was born in 1809 in Boston, Massachusetts to actor parents who unfortunately died before he was three and he was adopted by the Allen family. He began a career as a journalist and writer, um, but it was very grim and he didn't see much financial success despite frequent publishing of his work. He died in 1849 in Baltimore under mysterious circumstances and I want to say he was missing for a couple of days before he was found on the streets and then taken to the hospital where he died. But one positive note, he was extremely popular in France and um and he didn't he didn't understand it. And if you ever if you've ever seen the meme of Poe like staring at the at the letter like that comic um by Kate Beaton is is what what it's about and it's hilarious. I I encourage you all to to look it up because it's one of my it's it's one of my favorites of hers. Um, but anyway anyway back back to back to the actual video. The first time I was introduced to Poe, I think I was probably eight nine, and I read Annabelle Lee. And it was, you know, simple to get. Girl dies, boy sad. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> From then on, I really kept Poe in my mind. His poetry was the kind that I enjoyed most of all. And so, you know, throughout the years, you get your favorites. And, and I have my top three. And they're very common favorites, I think, um, with, with the majority. But number three is, of course, Annabelle Lee. Uh, number two is The Raven. And number one is The Telltale Heart. Honestly, it has to do with the length. Um, you know, I love The Raven, but after a while, <laughs> it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. I have with me um, the signature Barnes & Noble edition of the Essential Tales and Poems by Edgar Allan Poe. And here is what it looks like. And here is the Telltale Heart. It's about five pages. And, you know, like I said, it's short. And I think that's why it works so well, is because it gives you the problem. The guy doesn't like the old, the old man, his eye, mainly. Which, now that I think about it, makes me really think of Jim Carrey's Count Olaf in the Unfortunate Events movie. Where he's just like, he just stares at you. Like, that's what I think. The, the plot is very simple. Um, despite the heavy content that it's talking about. It was in eighth grade when we started reading short stories and Telltale was one of them and my friend in the class absolutely hated this story. She hated it and she was never one for grim stories or anything and I think that made me love it even more because it was a simple idea that I could take the horror. Not only does he murder someone, he can't find peace anyway. And so even if he let him live, he wouldn't be in peace that way. So it's a very um, lose-lose situation. And I don't think a lot of people ever think about that. A lot of people assume that if I get rid of the problem, it's gonna go away. It's never gonna bother me again. And yet, here we have a guy who murders someone and, you know, seemingly gets away with the perfect murder and he can't, he can't, can't get away with it. He can't, he can't, he can't get away. Also, it's one of my favorites because of all the other adaptions of it. Uh, the Spongebob episode where Mr. Krabs um, hides Spongebob's squeaky boots 
underneath the floorboards and then eats them. <laughs> um, and then there, there was this cartoon, and I don't know if it's on Netflix, and I can't remember the name, unfortunately. Um, actually, I think I watched it with April, so maybe, maybe she remembers. Um, but it was a very creepy styled cartoon. It just sent shivers down your spine. And it was so good. I just, I really like it, you guys. <laughs> I know that's not a good argument. It's simple, it's to the point, and it's creepy. Just the length that this guy goes to, to, to get rid of it, to get rid of his problem. You know, it's creepy, <laughs> it's creepy. And then, of course, you can't get away with it. I think the other thing really gets me about the Telltale is that it could happen at any time, in any place, to anyone. And I think that's the creepiest thing, is that it could happen anywhere. So yeah, that's, that's my argument, my lame argument, but I'm excited to see what April has to say, what her favorite Poe story is, and I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say, so comment down below, like and subscribe for more, look at our other videos and our other arguments and topics, and we'll see you next time. Bye!